tohu. Ma tohu. Our goal is to fulfill our call to guard the commandments of Torah and to have the testimony that Messiah Yehoshua is the Redeemer of Israel. The Torah of Yehovah is perfect, bringing back the being. The witness of Yehovah is trustworthy, making wise the simple. The orders of Yehovah are straight, rejoicing the heart. The command of Yehovah is clear, enlightening the eyes. Blessed is the man who shall not walk in the counsel of the wrong, and shall not stand in the path of sinners, and shall not sit in the seat of scoffers. But his delight is in the Torah of Yehovah, and he meditates in his Torah day and night. For he shall be as a tree planted by the rivers of water, that yields its fruit in its season, and whose leaf does not wither, and whatever he does prospers. The wrong are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind blows away. For this command which I am commanding you today, it is not too hard for you, nor is it far off. For the, the word, word is very near you, you in your mouth and in your heart to do it. it. For truly I say to you, till heaven and the earth pass away, one jot or one tittle shall by no means pass from the Torah till all be done. Whoever then breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches men so shall be called least in the reign of the heavens. But whoever does and teaches them he shall, he shall be, be called, called great, great in the reign of the heavens. It is easier for heaven and earth to pass away than for one tittle of the Torah to fail. Do, Do we, we then nullify the, the Torah through, through belief? belief? Let, Let it not, not be. be. On, On the, the contrary, contrary, we establish the Torah. the Torah. So that the righteousness of the Torah shall be completed in us who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. Baruch atah Yehovah, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher natan laden hadavar hakai yashim Yehoshua. Blessed are you, Yehovah Elohim, King of the universe, who gives us the living word in Messiah Yehoshua. Amen. Those who trust in Yehovah are like Mount Zion. It is not shaken. It remains forever. As the mountains surround Yerushalayim, so Yehovah surrounds his people, now and forever. For the scepter of the wrongness shall not rest in the land allotted to the righteous. Let the righteous stretch forth their hands in righteousness. Do good, O Yehovah, to those who are good, and to those who are upright in their hearts. But those who turn aside to their crooked ways, Yehovah shall lead them away with the workers of wickedness. Peace be upon Israel. 
the Barku. Blessed Yahavah, the Blessed One. Blessed is Yahavah, the Blessed One, for all eternity. Barku et Yahavah Hambarak, Baruch Yahavah Hambarak Leolam Bayan. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall you labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of Yahavah your Elohim. In it you shall not do any work. For in six days Yahavah made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, and rested on the seventh day. That is why Yahavah blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Speak also to the children of Israel, saying, Above all, my Sabbath you shall keep. For it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations that you may know that I am Yehovah who sanctifies you. And if you do turn back your foot from the Sabbath, from doing your pleasure on my set-apart day, and shall call the Sabbath a delight, the set-apart day of Yehovah is seemed, and shall esteem it, not doing your own pleasure, nor speaking your own words, then you shall delight yourself in Yehovah, and I shall cause you to ride on the heights of the earth, and feed you with the inheritance of Yaakov your father, for the mouth of Yahavah has spoken. Blessing over the children. Okay. Elohim of Abraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov, we pray for these children to know that the fear of Yehovah is the beginning of knowledge. Children, heed the discipline of your father, and do not forsake the Torah of your mother, for they are fair wreaths on your heads and chains about your neck. Children, obey your parents and our master Yeshua, for it is right, and the first commandment with promise is this, honor your father and your mother that it may go beautifully for you, and your life may be prolonged on the earth. And parents, do not provoke your children, but train them up in the discipline and doctrine of our Master Yeshua. For there is no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in the truth. Remember, all the paths of Yehovah are mercy and truth. To them that seek his covenant and his testimonies, let the words of your mouth and the meditation of your hearts be pleasing before Yehovah, your helper and redeemer. The loving commitment of Yehovah is from everlasting to everlasting upon those who fear him and his righteousness to children's children. May you always crave the word as being the pure spiritual milk by which you are nourished up to life. For whatever is true, whatever is honest, whatever is just, whatever is of good report, if there is any un uprightness and if there is any praise, think on these. Finally, the peace of Elohim, which surpasses all knowledge, will keep your hearts and your minds through Yeshua the Messiah. Please stand for the Messiah prayer. Blessed are you, Yahavah, who has given us the way of salvation in Messiah Yehoshua. He walked among us, filled with your spirit, the only one who ever fulfilled your Torah perfectly. He healed the sick and raised the dead. The multitudes of our people sought his touch. He taught as no other man taught, bringing forth the treasures of Torah with authority. How the children sought him, the lepers he touched and made clean. How the despised and the outcasts found love and release from their sin. How the hypocrites feared him, whose words uncovered their sin. Despised and rejected, acquainted with grief, he bore the sins of Israel. All of us like sheep went astray, turned every one to his own way. Our iniquities were laid upon our king. The sins of this world became his burden to bear. He rose from the dead and opened the way to life everlasting. Praise be to his name. We are in him. His spirit empowers. New life is ours with joy and peace. Baruch atah Yehovah Eloheinu melech haolam. Asher natan lenu edirek hayashua v'amashiach Yehoshua. Amen. Blessed are you, Yehovah, our Elohim, King of the universe, who has given us the way of salvation in Messiah Yehoshua. Amen. <coughs> Blessing of the Shema. 
Baruch Atah Yahavah Eloheinu Melech Aalam Yotzer Or Uvere Hosek Hose Shalom Uvere Ra Blessed are you Yahavah Elohim King of the universe who forms light and creates darkness makes peace and creates evil The Shema Shema Israel Yahovah Glorious kingdom for all eternity. Amen. Ve'ahavta et Yehovah Eloheka, v'ko levavka uv'ko nashdika uv'ko meodeka. V'hayu hadavarim ha'ele asher anoki matzavaka hayom al levaveka. V'shinam tam levaneka, v'dibar tam bam b'shiftika, Bevteka uvlekdeka vaderek, uvshakbeka uvkomeka, uvshartam leo al yudeka, vahayu letotafot bena neka, uvtaptam al mezuzot beteka uvisha beka. And you shall love Yehovah your Elohim with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. And have these words which I command you this day be upon your heart, and you shall teach them diligently to your children. And speak of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you retire, and when you arise. And you shall bind them for a sign upon your hand, and let them be frontlets between your eyes. And you shall write them on the doorposts of your house and upon your gates. And you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You may be seated for a couple minutes. Okay, and we're about to start the Torah service. There used to be one Torah for the native born and for the stranger who sojourns among you. Thank Hamocha. Thank Hamocha Vailin Yehovah. Vien Kemashecha. Mahucha mahu kol olamin Umen shaftecha Bechol dor vador Yehovah ha-melech Yehovah ha-malach Yehovah inglo Le-olam va-el Yehovah oz le-amo yitein Yehovah i-varech there is none like your oh God, Jehovah, and there is nothing like your works. Your kingdom is a kingdom throughout all generations, and all your dominions is forever. Jehovah reigns, Jehovah has reigned, Jehovah will reign forever and ever. Jehovah will give strength to his people, and Jehovah will bless his people with peace. Vahivin so haron, vahivin so haron, Moshe, kuma yaova, vayafuzu oi vecha, vayanusu mesanecha, mepanecha, ki mision. Teze Torah, ki mission. Teze Torah, udevar Yehovah, mi Yerushalayim, Baruch shenatan Torah, Torah, Baruch shenatan. Torah, Torah, Le'amor Israel, 
When the ark will travel, Moshe will say, Arise, Jehovah, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those who hate you flee from you. For the Torah will go forth from Zion, and the word of Jehovah from Jerusalem. Blessed is he who gave the Torah to his people Israel in his holiness. Amen. Nagila Hava, Nagila Hava, Nagila Venishmecha, like this, Hava, Nagila Hava, Nagila Hava. Hava nera nena, hava nera nena, hava nera nena, venishmecha. Huru, huru achi, huru achi velechzamea, huru achi velechzamea, huru achi velechzamea, huru achi velechzamea, huru achi. May the Father of compassion have mercy on the nation that is born by him, and may he remember the covenant of the spiritually mighty. May he rescue our souls from the bad times and not bribe the evil inclination to leave those born by him. Graciously make us an eternal remnant and fulfill our request in good measure for salvation and mercy. May he help, shield, and save all who take refuge in him. Now let us respond. Amen. Amen. All of you ascribe greatness to our Elohim and give honor to the Torah. Arise, Michael ben Abraham, an Israelite, and come to the Bema to read from the Torah. Blessed is he who gave the Torah to his people Israel in his holiness. Baruch et Yehovah Hamvarak. Baruch Yehovah Hamvarak le'olam vayeh. Baruch et Yehovah Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher b'kar menu mekol ha'amim. Benatan lenu et Torah to Baruch ata Yehovah. No ten ha Torah. No ten ha Torah. Amen. Blessed are you, Yehovah our Elohim, King of the universe, who has chosen us from all peoples and given us His Torah. Blessed are you, Yehovah, 
giver of the Torah. The Torah reading is from Exodus, Shemoth 16.28 through 17.13. And Yehovah said to Moshe, How long shall you refuse to guard my commands and my Torah? See, because Yehovah has given you the Sabbath, therefore he is giving you bread for two days and on the sixth day, bread for two days on the sixth day. Let each one stay in his place. Do not let anyone go out of his place on the seventh day. So the people rested on the seventh day. And the house of Israel called its name manna. And it was like white coriander seed. And the taste of it was like thin cakes made with honey. And Moshe said, This is the word which Yahovah has commanded. Fill an omer with it to keep for your generations so that they see the bread with which I fed you in the wilderness when I brought you out of the land of Mitzrayim. And Moshe said to Aharon, Take a pot and put an omer of manna in it and set it down before Yahovah to keep for you to keep for your generations. As Yahovah commanded Moshe, so did Aaron Aharon set it down before the witness to keep. And the children of Israel ate manna forty years until they came came to an inhabited land. They ate manna until they came to the border of the land of Canaan, and an omer is one-tenth of an epath. And all the congregation of the children of Israel set out on their journey from the wilderness of Sin, according to the mouth of Yehovah, and camped at Red, Red, Rephidim, and there was no water for the people to drink. Therefore the people strove with Moshe and said, Give us water to drink. And Moshe said to them, Why do you strive with me? Why do you try Yahovah? And the people thirsted there for water, and the people grumbled against Moshe and said, Why did you bring us out of Mitzrayim, to kill us and our children and our livestock with thirst? Then Moshe cried out to Yahovah, saying, What am I to do with these people, yet a little, and they shall stone me? And Yahovah said to Moshe, Pass over before the people, and take with you some of the elders of Israel, and take in your hand your rod with which you struck the river, and go. See, I am standing before you there on the rock in Horeb, and you shall strike the rock, and water shall come out of it, and the people shall drink. And Moshe did so before the eyes of the elders of Israel. And he called the name of this place Massa and Meribah, because of the strife of the children of Israel, and because they tried Yehovah, saying, Is Yehovah in our midst or not? And Amalek came and fought with Israel in Rephidim. And Moshe said to Yehoshua, Choose for us men and go out. Fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I am stationing myself on the top of the hill with the rod of Elohim in my hand. And Yehoshua did as Moshe said to him, to fight with Amalek. And Moshe, Aharon, and Hur went up to the top of the hill. And it came to be when Moshe held up his hand that Israel prevailed. And when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. But Moshe's hands were, very, were heavy. So they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat on it. And Aharon and Hur supported his hands, one on one side and the other on the other side. And his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. And Yehoshua defeated Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. And then the Maktir is chapter 17, verses 14 through 16. And Yehovah said to Moshe, Write this for a remembrance in the book and recite it in the hearing of Yehoshua, that I shall... Completely blot out the remembrance of Amalek from under the heavens. And Moshe built a solder place and called its name Yahovah Nisi. For he said, Because a hand is on the throne of Yah, Yahovah is to fight against Amalek from generation to generation. Amen. Baruch Atah Yahovah, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Natan Lanu Torah Amet. Bakaye Olam Nata Botkenu Baruka Ta Yahova No Tain Ha Torah No Tain Blessed are you, Yahovah Elohim, King of the universe, who has given us a Torah of truth and has planted eternal life in our midst. Blessed are you, Yahovah, giver of the Torah. He who bless our forefathers Abraham, Yitzchak, and Jacob, may he bless Michael Ben Levi, because he has come up to read from the Torah in honor of Yahweh and his word. 
As a reward for this, may the Holy One, blessed is he, protect him and rescue him from every trouble and distress, from every plague and illness. May he send blessing and prosperity in his every endeavor, together with all Israel, his brethren. Now let us respond. Amen. Amen. Thank you. If you join us for the Vesoha Torah. Vesoha Torah, Asher Samoshe, live never in Israel. This is the Torah that Moses placed before the children of Israel, that they commanded Yahweh through Moses' hand. Return, O Yahweh, to, to the countless thousands of Israel. Amen. <coughs> You may be seated. Now we'd like to call uh, Jokanam Ben Levi to read from the half Torah. If you please join us for the opening half Torah blessing. Baruch Yehovah Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bachar Bimin Tovin Verazava Devrahim Ane Marin Veme Varuchata Yahovah Havoker Batora U Moshe Ado Um Israel Amo, Um Ilie Amen, Blessed are you, Yahweh Elohim, King of the universe, who has selected good prophets and was pleased with their work, which is spoken truthfully. Blessed are you, Yahweh, who chooses the Torah, your servant Moshe, your people Israel, and prophets of truth and righteousness. We're reading from today from Shoftim or Judges, chapter 4, verse 4, to chapter 5, verse 21. 31? Oh. Okay, thanks. Right on. right on. And Deborah, a prophetess, the wife of Labadelt, was ruling Israel at that time. And she